certainly the possibility, perhaps even the probability, that what you're talking about does exist here in the Glade, even today. My question is, uh, have you done any research or collected any, any, any knowledge, any information that would confirm the existence of that problem, and if so, the scope of that problem as it exists today? The answer is no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, Phil, the, in talking to Dr. Prigg, I, I spent probably an hour with him. Uh, he doesn't know uh, if there are any. But based on his statement, there are a lot of people here in need, including can't even paint their own garage door, so ACC is, they're gonna to try to team with the ACC to volunteers to help paint the door. There are a lot of people with a lot of problems. He has never even thought about a financial need, and he said that may be an idea. But he can't, he, he wouldn't know, he said, if there's any like that. And I don't know if there's any like that. Okay, thanks. I, on this one in particular, then, it would, it would seem we're starting at basically the same point. Yeah, we are. Uh, my other question on that subject is, um, have you identified or thought about any funding sources for such a program other than member dues? No, there, the only thing I'm talking about is dues. If the dues makes the difference, because they're gonna rise and rise and rise. Okay, I think we may be on different pages here, so yeah. let, let me go back a moment okay. with you. If we're going to assist someone in need, uh, necessarily that, that those fees are not gonna be paid, those association fees, which means that of, of that budget, the rest of us are going to pay for that budget. And my question is, uh, have you identified any other sources like uh, charitable contributions, endowment fund, uh, that you would, uh, and, and I'm pretty sure I will, but I'm just asking if yeah. you have considered no. any other sources. No, I mean, there's all sorts of um, organizations out there that may help people like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Residence Voice, uh, Residence Voice, Residence Services helps people like this. Okay. But all I'm talking about, if dues keep increasing, that mm -hmm. was the basis of the problem, the basis of the statement by the consultant, if dues increasing, keep increasing, increasing, there's gonna be a point where it's gonna be beyond the ability to pay anymore. Then they go into foreclosure or whatever they go into. We're saying if it rises to a point where I can afford what I'm doing, but if it goes up like this more three or four years, I'm not gonna be able to do it, then maybe grandfather them in, reduce them a little bit, or just, this is just a dues issue. I'm not gonna to get to be a social engineer. Just, okay. that's all, just the dues. Without letting any cats out of any bags, we have had some fair, fairly serious discussions on that potential problem at the board Good. level. Maybe we're no further ahead than you are at this point, but it's well. At least you're discussing uh, that. That's good. Discussed it. Yeah. Maybe we can help you there. Uh, and I think you alluded to this too, but just for clarification, you suggested that any program we ultimately uh, implement would be administered by the HR department. Yes. Uh, are you opposed to the finance department being the uh, administrator? Uh, no, I'm not opposed to anybody, but I think the HR department, being I am one of those people, that it's more in their bailiwick, it's more of a, almost a human subject than a financial, and that's why I'm saying, yeah. All right. I have about a zillion questions about how this program will be run, <laughs> and for the sake of saving time for all these people, I understand it's a draft program and an idea. An idea which can details why be figured out at another time. I would not know where to start with the details. I just wouldn't. But I think it's something that we as an organization, we as a community, cannot allow to happen. I just want to add to the concern when we bring this before us to consider it. There are other things we need to consider is how would we determine who these people are without delving into private information as to what their income is, which is not acceptable for most people. And then how would we know if they're doing well and what they are and are not doing and keeping privacy and members' pride in, in place. Setting up that whole system will be multi-departmental and conditional, but we appreciate your suggestion. Yeah, it would be just a referral system. We wouldn't go out and try to find these people. As to who does it and where it comes from yeah. is down the road. 
Thank well, you. Yeah, I probably come from resident services or the churches. Probably know a lot too. That's all. But I, I I'm right there. I'm wherever you are. I'm nowhere. But I think we just got to address it. Good thought. Thank you. Other questions? With that, thanks everybody for coming today. Thanks for the residents' voice representatives, the board representatives. Have a great afternoon.